Hello everybody, this is Toilet Tube Animals Cat 3. So if you want to see Toilet Tube Animals Cat 1 and 2, go find them first and then you can look at this one because this is getting to the very end of how to make these tube animals out of good old toilet tubes. So, this is as far as we've got. Here he is. So, he's been made, he's got his ears. He hasn't got a face yet, so that's what we're going to do today. He's got his legs and he's got his tail. Which I'm hoping will just kind of stick up like that. Okay, so I've covered him in a layer of white paint, which is just about dry. Um, ready to put the paint, the colour that I want to put on my cat. Now, you can paint your cat any colour you like. I'm going to paint my cat black, make him look a bit like my cat. My cat is black all over, but he's got white ears or white tips on his ears, and he's got bits of white all over him, and that inspired me to make my cat look a bit like him. So if you want to make your cat look like your cat, you could. So some cats are tabby. So if you wanted to paint a tabby cat, perhaps you could paint your cat maybe a brown colour all over, quite a light brown colour, and then do a darker brown stripes. Whatever you like. So, go crazy with the colours. But anyway, this is, if you want to follow what I did, that's absolutely fine. So obviously, uh, we're going to leave the face white so that we can see what features we put on. So if you've got if you've got a tabby cat or a brown cat, then make sure it's quite a light brown colour so that we can see the features, see the face. Okay. So, but anyway, I've left mine white, and uh, I've left the ears white, and I've left the tip of the tail white. And I've left his four paws white. Now I'm going to paint everything else black. So I've got some, you can see I've got some paint here. A paintbrush. So I'm going to make a start on painting. takes quite a long time to do but uh, I think I said in the last video if you paint everything with the white paint first it covers up the sellotape so sometimes it's a bit tricky to paint on top of sellotape but as long as you use this acrylic paint and you put a layer of white down first it should cover quite nicely Take the paint down his leg. Go all the way down to his leg. Stop there. Stop him right at the bottom because I want his paws to look white. Sweet. Don't forget to do the inside of that leg too, and the underneath the cat's tummy. So you're doing the other side of the leg too, and paint the tummy as well. Okay. 
see the little bit of mist here and keep behind the other ear. Now obviously you got loads and loads of time to do this really really carefully. And I don't want to take up too much of your time so I'm going to be a bit rough. Anyway that's the general idea. Okay so I've taken the black all the way around but I'm going to leave face white okay so you keep on painting everything black until he ends up looking like this one okay so this is my cat all painted all over I've missed a few bits on his tummy but so you can be much more careful so at the moment he hasn't got a face as you can see so this is how you do the face uh, so I had a practice on a bit of paper which is always quite useful. So first of all, here's my pencil. I drew a circle in the middle. If you can see that, okay. So that circle is going to be coloured in with a black pen. Obviously, this is going to be on the base of the cat, but we're having a practice on the flat bit of paper first. And then, above the nose, I drew two little tiny eyes. Can you see those little tiny spots? So that's so you know where the eyes are going to go. But cat's eyes don't look quite like that, do they? So what you need to do is to draw two... Long, long shapes like that. Okay, so those ones can be coloured in yellow because the insides of cat's eyes are yellow, aren't they? And then I'm going to draw an eye shape around those. And if you have a look at that, it's starting to look quite a lot like a cat, isn't it? And last thing, we need to give our cat a little smile. Okay, so that's that's what we're going to do on the face of our cat. So we're going to practice, for, we're going to do it in pencil first so we don't make any mistakes. So first of all, the nose. Draw a circle around the nose. Tell you what, this bit's a bit tricky. I'm going to put my glasses on for this. <laughs> oh, that's better. And then the eyes. So, a little round spot first. And then the oval shapes. So, the yellow pen. And then the final cat shape. The eyes. And then a big smile because we want our cat to look cheerful, don't we? So that's all done in pencil. Now I'm going to go over it in pen. So yellow for the eyes first, for the inside of the eyes. Serious cat face. Put the lid on my pen again. Then I've got a black pen here. I'm going to do the nose first. bit fiddly to do. It's well worth it. And then the eyes. Draw around the eyes. And 
then give him a big smile. Okay, just put the lid on my pen. I'm just going to show you what I've done. So exactly the same as, I'll show you up close, if you can see that all right. Can you see the little eyes with the yellow insides? Okay, I really hope you can see that all right. Um, that's my version of a cat. Now it doesn't really matter what it looks like. I think whatever you put on your cat will look fabulous. Um, so just go crazy with the cat. Um, the last thing that really makes a cat look like a cat is the whiskers. Now you can draw the whiskers on if you want to, but I thought it would be really good fun. Whoops! I think my cat's got a bit drunk. <laughs> Um, I've got an old paintbrush here and I was looking at these bristles and I thought oh, they make great whiskers. Now don't go cutting up the best paintbrush in, in the cupboard. Make sure it's an old one that's not needed anymore. And you only want a few of the bristles. Just don't cut a great big lump. Just a few and then just cut them off as long as you can get them. There's my, there's my clump of uh, bristles, if you can see them. Put them against my jumper, they'll be able to see them. Now, the trick is to get a bit of tape. I'm just going to cut that bit of tape in half. I don't need all of that. So if you hold on to your bristles, just going to get a bit of tape there ready for the next lot. Oops. And hold your bristles one end and just stick them to the tape and then stick the tape to the face. Now because it's tape it doesn't matter if it's going over your drawing. Okay, there's one lot of bris of whiskers. I'm going to do that again. Another lot of bristles. Just a bit more of the tape, I'll show you that again. Just stick the bristles to the bit of tape. And then it's going the other side of the nose. It goes over and just gets held in place. And there you have your cat all finished. Look, it's even got bristles now. What do you think? I think he looks amazing. I'm very proud of my toilet tube cat. So, I hope you have fun making your toilet tube cat. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.